Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel. If you are visiting the channel for a very first time, then this is my small introduction. I'm thankful for each and every member because it's just you and only you who is helping me and this channel to grow. I thoroughly enjoy learning and sharing Salesforce knowledge with you. Please keep watching, sharing and motivating others to subscribe to your channel. Let's start with today's topic. So this is uh, day five scenario discussion. And before I start, uh, like this is the requirement of, of one of our friend Bharadwaj. Uh, maybe this is the business requirement. Uh, so I request you all to please share the uh, the you know the requirements the, the scenarios because uh, this will help all of us me you everyone to uh, brush up our skills to learn more and to create a kind of the virtual group study kind of the environment. Vijay Lakshmi, Vijay I will be recording the complete detail you know the uh, the uh, the, uh, the video on. On the on your requested topic uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, and uh, I hope that you know after watching that video you won't be able to you know face any kind of the other problem. You will be enjoying it and uh, will be you know the working on the scenarios uh, in a you know in a much more confident way. So let us start this uh, this you know this scenario. And once again, thank you, Ma Bharadwaj, for sharing this scenario. So basically, my dear friends, the scenario is irrespective of going to the any of you know the top. I mean the object or anything. Let me you know the first of all uh, create. I mean share you the very basic baseline uh, of the scenario. The scenario is you have certain X Y Z condition. So if that condition satisfies, then only users should be able to create or update the record. And if not, if the requirement or you know the, the, uh, the conditions are not matching, then you should not be able to create the record. Okay. So for this, you know, the I have created uh, one custom field. Let me show you directly that so this is the two fields i am going to use here one is the in the standard close date this is a date type field and another one is the custom uh, the uh, the field of uh, type checkbox now using this i am going to create my scenario first of all i will create and will check uh, and then will you know the uh, in case you have any problem uh, then you can ask in the comment section. Now, uh, this is my custom is checked, uh, sorry, is closed which is a, the checkbox type and I'm using not equals to two. And then another field is close type of type date standard one. Oh, sorry. So, you know, the though I have created, but uh, we will check, uh, then only we will uh, assume that this is uh, working fine for us.
check d5 okay so one scenario is passed now let us do one thing check d5 okay this scenario is also passed okay so this is working fine okay so you can also uh, check with the other scenarios and uh, in case you have any problem any uh, any you know the uh, uh, the suggestion you may need to uh, share with me or any topic then uh, you're always uh, welcome to uh, share Finally, you know the money in the uh, because we are ending with uh, our uh, 2021 so january onwards you will be getting the videos on the uh, the you know because the com there's a, already a complete playlist of the apex which have uh, you know the complete course which include the triggers the you know the everything uh, including the asynchronous programming batch uh, with everything so the more advanced you know the method development you will uh, get in, in the uh, in the 2022 january onwards thank you thank you for your for all your love and uh, my appreciation stay safe keep learning bye take care